When experiencing issues with connecting the Zebra printer to the iPad, there are a series of steps you will need to take before moving forward. First, you will want to know what generation of iPad you are using. It must be a second generation or higher. This includes any generation of iPad Airs, Pros, and iPad Minis. Next, you will need to be on the most current version of Jolt. Make sure you are using Jolt Employee Task Management and Checklist app for the iPad. The Jolt Lite app is for smartphones and will not work for printing labels. To make sure your Jolt app is updated, go to the App Store. Go to Updates in the bottom right, and you can see from there if any updates are available. Next, make sure your iOS version is updated. Go into the iPad Settings, select General, and then Software Updates, and make sure you have the most recent update for your iPad. Now, make sure your iPad is connected to the Wi-Fi. It will need to be connected to a private network as a guest network is not a reliable network. To check, go into iPad Settings and then Wi-Fi. Ensure it is a password protected network only. If you need to accept user terms and conditions or add any credentials, then that Wi-Fi network will not work for setting up the printer. While here in the iPad Settings, check to see if the Bluetooth is on and paired with the printer. If you have more than one iPad in your location and you are trying to connect a second, please temporarily turn off the Bluetooth on all other devices during the setup. If another iPad is paired via Bluetooth, then it will conflict with the setup. When you are connecting your date code label printer, there are two connections that the printer can make to the iPad, either through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. You must connect first to the Bluetooth before connecting to the Wi-Fi. You can only have one iPad paired via Bluetooth on the printer. However, you can have multiple iPads connected through the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is also a more reliable connection, so we will always connect to the Wi-Fi when possible. Go to Bluetooth, and below My Devices, you should see your printer listed. It will be listed as the serial number, which you can find on the bottom of the printer. Tap on it to connect your printer to the Bluetooth. If the connection was unsuccessful, please refer to the link in the description below titled Bluetooth Connection Unsuccessful. Once connected to the Bluetooth, select the Home button and go back to the Jolt app. Under Settings and Printers, if this printer was previously connected, it should be listed under Configured Printers and the status should read Connected. If the printer connections are not under Configured Printers or their status is not connected, there are links in the video description below that will take you through the proper troubleshooting steps depending on your situation. Now you should see two printer connections showing. One will be called Zebra BT with the serial number. BT stands for Bluetooth, so this connection is via Bluetooth. The other will just say Zebra with the serial number. This is the Wi-Fi connection. If there is not a Wi-Fi connection listed, you will need to configure to Wi-Fi from the Bluetooth connection. Select the Zebra BT connection, and on the bottom right, select Configure Wi-Fi. Put in your Wi-Fi password, and then press Configure. This can take a few minutes, depending on your network. It's going to cycle through the status lights on the printer. Once the connection to the Wi-Fi is successful, you will need to select the printer under Printers Not Yet Configured. Do a test print to make sure it is connected properly, then give it a description. The description can be any name, but best practice is to put Wi-Fi in the description to easily recognize that this is the Wi-Fi connection. Then press Save. It will now show up under Configured Printers. We recommend keeping your Bluetooth on so that your printer will still print via Bluetooth in case you ever experience issues with your Wi-Fi. If you have further questions or issues, please refer to the links in the description below or reach out to Jolt Support.